Hi guys and welcome to Image Transfer Techniques with Mrs Noon. The first thing I'm going to do is take a bright yellow acrylic paint and creatively place a layer of that onto drawing paper with a thick bristly paintbrush. I'm then going to take some newspaper and rip sections of text away and press that onto the wet layer of acrylic paint making sure there's a sufficient amount of paint underneath. I'm going to do that a couple of times thinking carefully about the arrangement and my composition weight. So I'm going to place them down the bottom there and then also along the side to change the direction slightly. Now the key with this technique is to allow the image and paint to get a little bit tacky so they begin to stick together. We don't want it to dry fully but we want to give it a sufficient amount of time in order to dry. Now you can see there, because the image has began to connect with the acrylic paint as I peel the top layer away, the text remains, but also some of that paper layer remains there too. So the paper residue stays there as part of the piece. Now you can see here, because I'm using text, the text transfers backwards. So please make sure that you're aware of that. A way to avoid that is to use letters that look the same either side, either direction. You can see here that I'm using that quick tacky method with text in order to create a quick transfer of text across the composition. I'm using the heat from my finger there just to speed up that process ever so slightly. You can see here it creates a slight distressed look Okay, transfer method number two. For this one, we're going to be using the outline of the text to support us with a text transfer. So I'm going to be applying a thick layer of pencil to the back of the text, creating quite a deep, dark layer here as much as possible, and then flip that pencil side down. And all I'm going to do is press along the outline of the text to create that text transfer. Now this is brilliant if you are not very confident with your, um, with your text drawing and you can then use that outline as a guide. It's almost like a tracing technique there and you can see that's imprinted then onto the piece and I can then just go over and outline that there to make sure that it stands out a little bit more. Now you can also use a um, ink pen, a drawing ink pen um, that is that reacts to water. You can then use that to create a slight shadow in and around the text itself, just to add to that element of drama. Okay, so on to method three. I'm then going to use the same text and I'm going to apply this time a contrasting colour, the acrylic paint directly over the top of the text. Making sure I've got a thick layer directly over the text itself. Now in order to show you and make it slightly more visible, I'm just trimming it down and then applying it thinking carefully about my composition. Just made a slight connection there with the paper, but that doesn't matter, we can try and disguise that later. And I'm literally just pressing it down, just making sure it's connected to the piece and allowing it to dry. While I've got that acrylic available, I'm then just gonna put a little bit onto a piece of paper, being careful not to make contact with the paper other than with the pencil. I'm gonna write words connected to my theme. You can see there, in quite a distressed way, it transfers the text to the piece. I can then use the off prints and press that repeatedly and it prints the off print of the word across the paper. Just to speed up the acrylic drying, I'm just gonna use my hairdryer. that's sufficiently dried I am then going to go over again with my water and sponge 
using those circular motions with your finger or your sponge in order to lift that paper residue. Now, this is quite a delicate technique. You'll see the paint lifts, but again, you've got that really beautiful distressed look and parts of the text will reveal. So the amount of pressure really depends on the amount of text that you want to be revealed through that piece. And it gives that really bright, bold background to and backdrop to your text. So you can see now the composition is starting to build and what I'm going to do now is find my sellotape transfer from our previous experiments and I'm going to layer that on top of my other experiments to create that completed composition. So to attach that sellotape transfer, I'm going to be using PVA glue. This substance we know dries clear and it will also help some of that remaining paper residue to set in more of a transparent look. So I can then press it down, consider where it's going to go, press it down, trim off the excess. And then what I'm doing here is the last bits of the sellotape transfer. I'm just creating some abstract shapes here just to layer on top of the composition, just to add just that last little bit of drama. And voila, 